we're off again okay this time we're going up to the top of the mole saddle on the nelson lakes i've got bruce in the back brucey hey hello you might not be able to see him he's behind me over there um yeah the, it's snowing right now up there um and it should be snowing tonight we should get a bunch I'm going to do something different this time. I'm going to be exposed. I'm going to use uh, a 4x3 tarp and a pole. And minimal gear. I'm cranking, I'll show you later, uh, a backpack from AliExpress, 3FUL backpack. Very lightweight. Um, and I really don't have much. So, just a one-nighter. We'll see how we do. All right, let's get going. How are you doing, Bruce? So, we're almost there, we've got about 10 minutes to go, we'll be at uh, the spot that I park. There's a lot of snow up on the tops where we're going to be, and we're above the tree line up there, so I've only got my tarp and a pole, so no shovel or anything, so I'm going to be clearing some ground out, I think, with my feet. We'll see how that goes. Here we are. Getting ready to go. Quick slog, drink. For the big push up. I'm not taking any water up with me. I'm just gonna go for it. Beautiful day. It's about half 12. Plenty of snow up on the tops. But we won't see the snow until we get there, right to the very top. I doubt there'll be any on the way. Bruce is raring to go, aren't you, Brucey? All good to go? Chug this, you get cranking. Air temperature is only about 8 degrees, 7 degrees. But the sun's so brutal, so strong, that you could lie here and sunbathe quite easily. It's so hot. Right, come on, Bruce. Got about two and a half hours to break out the bush. Slow and steady. Let's get up there. Bruce is all ready. Hey, Brucey. You ready? What do you reckon? Yeah, he's good to go. Bruce loves it. Good boy. Yeah. He's licking your tail. Oh, yeah. Go on then. Bruce knows where he's going. Straight up. Jamison Ridge track. Lots of uh, dead fall. Always got to deal with this scramble. It's not a very well maintained track. But it is what it is. Been going an hour now and uh, I just checked I'm at 920 meters so I've climbed 400 something meters this is a, a rough track it's very wet 
and very steep, very humid. But keep pushing. We've got about an hour and a half to go. thousand meters. Trees are thinning, it's getting cooler. First signs of snow. slow going, walking in the snow, slowed Bruce down a little bit, it's half crusty, half powdery, Bruce is loving it aren't you Bruce, oh. Whew. gotta take a moment, soak up some rays, This pack is so comfy. I don't know if you can see it up there. Hands down, the most comfortable pack I think I've ever used. Okay, admittedly, I haven't got much gear in it. It's weighing in at 11 kilos. But I've bought up different packs with that weight in before. The pack itself only weighs 700 grams. It's so light, but it doesn't have a frame. You use the, I've got a Thermarest Neo Air, uh, not Thermarest Neo Air, Thermarest Z Light there. If you can make that out as the frame, you just fold it up and stick it in there. That's actually Bruce's bed for the night. Got it from AliExpress. I think it was just 18 New Zealand dollars. It's a 3FUL 45 litre, 45 litre pack. Um, the material is just the standard lightweight one. It's not X-Pack, it's not X-Pack. It was quite a bit more expensive and I didn't see the benefit of that. Inside it, got an ultralight waterproof liner. So I bought a 40 litre one for my gear in, but it's so practical, so comfy. Massive hip pockets, my snacks, my knife, phone, everything else. Biggest hip pockets I've ever had. Huge water bottle pockets on each side. I've got a large now jean in each one of those, and on the back. Massive uh, compression strap mesh net on the back. I've got my tarp in there, my tripod, pegs and stuff like that. One, just one big internal pocket with a snap lock down sort of clasp. So you fold it down like a wet bag and strap it over the top. Ingenious. Is it waterproof? I don't know. I haven't put it to the test. But I do have that dry sack inside anyway, just in case. But it is comfortable. It's taken all this gear. So what am I at? 11 kilos. No problem at all. But I'm just stung, stunned. 
They're so cheap. 1,300 meters. And the going is really hard. The snow is, is a nightmare. Oh, thank God. I'm out of here, but I'm into a world of misery. Wow. That's where I usually camp. Right over on the other side, past those woods. But I think I'm going to go and camp up on the trail because snow might be lighter up there. Definitely not going to make it to the top. That is deep. That's avalanche territory up there. So peaceful. Let's see where he's gone to. Well, oh, it's obviously chased after something. Let's follow his footprints. Up oh, there he is, up the top. Come here, what you got? What's this? Come here, come on. Here. Good boy. Where are you going? He knows I'm going up there. Gosh, he's cheeky. Right, let's see if I can walk on this. Oh, it's quite crusty. Not too bad though. It's deep. It's about foot and a half deep. So as long as it's nice and crusty like this, whoa, it should be okay. Whoa, and that's that. <laughs> nope, I just went straight in. It's deep. Oh man, struggling. That's how deep it is. Going down past my knee. Right, I'm gonna put the camera away. Put the camera away, I'm gonna plow on. It's blinding, should have bought my sunglasses. But so spectacular. All right, this has been absolute agony. So if you can make that out, knee deep. Bruce is so lucky, he just floats on the top. Excuse the wind noise. It's knee deep. Got some smudge on there. Is that better? Knee deep snow, post holing. I should have got snowshoes. Occasionally I can stand upright. I need to find a tent site quick, a tarp site. There's only one water supply here, and it's down some really, no Whoa! It's down some really gnarly stuff. So, what I might do is, because if I'm a bit lighter, I might be able to just walk on the surface down there. So, I need to set my tent up, my tarp. Whoop. Ditch my pack. Jesus, go and get the water. All I got with me is a alcohol stove, some meth. Um, shit. Excuse me. 
and uh, yeah there is water hopefully it's not completely frozen over if it is then I'm melting snow this is <laughs> snowshoes are a must up here I think today tomorrow's gonna be even worse but hopefully tonight it will freeze and then get out of here tomorrow early morning oh Christ and then maybe if I can shuffle well, whatever this is hard work all right get to the tent site get the tent set up get some water all right found my spot down there that's the tarn that's half frozen looks like there's some water just on the top of it though and what I want to do is just there just the white where Bruce is Brucey he's down there so I need to get there now this is quite shady here so let's see if I can get down here without falling over I'm sort of sliding down it's not so bad though it's quite crispy and crunchy it's a northwesterly wind so this is the leeward side of this hill should offer me some protection I know this spot I've not camped on it before but it's a nice little plateau and the water is right there and it drains off on a low point so this should be quite crispy here and not too deep I need to bang it down a bit oh shit <laughs> did I just say not too deep oh that was deep okay so it is deep I just need a spot to set the tarp up I might do it here and just bash all this down hard work but it's got to be done so I reckon on that edge there all right I'm gonna get to work bash it down Alright, here we go. You probably can't see me because of the sun. But I finally got it set up the way I wanted. Like a tarp tent. Plenty of room inside for two mattresses. Um, but it was a bit of a struggle because of the snow. Trying to get the depth right. The snow's a bit crunchy, couldn't get rid of it all. But you know how it is. Alright. I need to now sort out some water, get some dinner on, get Bruce's dinner on. Hey, dinner. Hey, Brucey. Get your dinner on. I'm sure you want your dinner, don't you? And get on with my evening. tricky bit getting water without falling in Whoa, like that wet boot almost okay it's all slushy
Oh, it's cold. It's really cold. Oh. Okay. It's a bit grimy. Whatever. I just got a wet boot. Damn it. Definitely should have had snowshoes. Wet boot. Oh well. I've got change of socks and everything. Be fine. So, got my titanium wood burner. What I'm going to do with this, if you can see me, is put my alcohol stove in there. Pretty cool. Axe is a bit of a, a wind break. There are better options out there, I just don't have one. I have to get a get something a wind break for it. I've got the um Trangia stove, but I haven't brought it with me. It's a bit too bulky. This should just do the trick. We'll see. It's a bit it's a bit breezy. Plenty of fuel. Fill this bad boy up. Let's see if it lights. These things don't do too. Oh, that's great, and that doesn't fit in there. I've heard they're not too brilliant in the cold. Well, we're about to find out. No luck yet. put a piece of card in there like that instead let's do it well, I wish my sit mat was bigger but can't complain all right so I'm actually gonna have a cup of soup so what we'll do is let's confirm. Tear this off. It's be good fuel. Anyway. Hey Brucey. You can smell food. Let's be 
really good look if I set light to my hand. It's not just warp. Mind that, Bruce. There it goes. Boost my doubt. All right. Looks like we've got action. It's working, Brucey. It's working, baby. go blue it's good to go it's warming up nicely let me take that bag off Bruce you can wait Just waiting for this to go blue. Come here, take the bag off. Oh, Bruce, you're right, Bess. Don't know if I want you coming in my tent later. Hey? You know, it's difficult to do this, Bruce, when you're lying down. Just letting you know. Making it harder. There. Sit. Go on then. Up. No, go away. I'm not getting my suit. I know that's what you were thinking. I don't know if you can see any flame coming off of that. It takes about a couple of minutes to go blue to get into the real heat. It's still not there. Once it gets cranking, I'm sure it'll be fine. Double whammy of water. I don't fancy going back and getting more from there. It's all going to keep freezing. I can hear it starting to crank. nice having that sun on me, I have to say. It's warm in the sun. It's going to disappear soon and then the temperature is going to really drop. I don't know if you can see Bruce just lying in the snow. He doesn't care. He doesn't feel the cold. It's bizarre. He's been playing in it for a couple of hours now. You having a good time, Bruce? Big avalanche just happened. Wow. Shame I didn't catch that. I don't think I'll be able to pick it up. But there's a big brown patch. All right. There. That just happened. I know we're in high avalanche warning. Sun is hitting all that snow, so we might see another one shortly.
and this is the site. Bruce walking around on the snow. It's deceiving. It's over a foot deep. Boy, is it beautiful. Lots of avalanches. And there's the campsite. Very, very cold. The sun is gonna go down soon. Gotta get out of this wind. Shoes. Whoa. Huh. It's alright for Brucey. He can walk on the top, can't you? Come here. You having fun? Oh, so much fun. Stinker. Hey, stinker. Last as long as I thought it would. Well, now I'm wondering if I bought enough fuel. Bruce, why are you lying in the snow? Why aren't you lying next to me? Come up here. Bruce. Come, here. Come on. Up, up. Hey, hey. Good boy. Is that better? Isn't that warmer? Must be. Hello. It's very licky. Mm. Cappuccino. That's good. I know, Bruce. You just have to wait. Hmm? Feet aren't cold yet, but they're. I can tell they're going to be. Especially, I think, if I got one wet. Can't tell. I've got waterproof socks on. Apart from having the dog with me. Okay, he's, he's comfortable now.
he's falling asleep on me. I think it's because he's so cozy. He's got his thick winter coat on. He doesn't need a blanket. He doesn't sleep with a blanket. He kicks them off. He hates them. He'd much rather regulate his temperature himself. So as long as he's lying on something that is reflective, which this is, especially if I fold it twice, um, he'll just curl up. He's got such a thick coat and he's got this special down layer that you can see here that he's got in winter. It's so warm. Isn't it, Brucey? Mm. Hey? So he's happy and he's had his dinner. And he's going to snuggle up with me tonight, keep me warm as well. Right, I'm going to sit for a bit, chill out. Taking the sounds. dinner. It is freezing cold. I've got a thermometer set up. I'm just waiting for it to get to the right temperature. But I want an early dinner because I want to get in that sleeping bag. Bruce has found something. Nightmare. I put my small cup a small titanium cup under the burner. So now the flame is right on it. So it's getting hot really quickly. And I'm going to keep warming water up, putting it in this water bottle. One, I'm going to fill one water bottle up uh, to put in my sleeping bag so it doesn't freeze. Uh, so in the morning, because it's freezing now, as you can see that ice in there. So dinner, typical honey soy chicken, backcountry cuisine. Not for you. No, not for you. Sorry. Do you want to lie next to me? There you go. Here. Up here, Bruce. No. No. Here. Here. Here, Bruce. Here. Up here. Lie down. Come on. Curl up. There you go. There. Yeah. It's cold. Doesn't look very clear either now. A bit of cloud has come in. It's meant to snow. I was going to do a night sky time lapse, but nothing will show up. Anyway, I think we're almost. It's cold. I should put my hood up. That's better. Wind is coming in directly behind. 
behind. So I've got the tent set up the right way. I should be fine in there. Not a lot of room. I was tempted to bring my normal tent, my MSR Hubba Hubba NX. But I thought, eh, what the hell. Let's try an open exposed tarp instead. Sort of regretting it a little bit. But even that tent's not a four season, so it's just as cold as being in here. It's no difference. I want to get a four season tent, tunnel tent. Get one cheap on AliExpress and I'll review it. Tell you what it's like. This is a 3FUL 4x3 tarp. The reason I went 4x3 is you can do this standard setup and then have a really big floor inside. See? I don't know if you can make that out. But I've actually got a floor in there. So I'm not in contact with the snow. And I can peg it out if I want to or whatever. But that's the advantage of the 4x3. 3x3 you can do it, but you only get that much of a floor just enough for your sleeping bag and everything else. That's fine, but your sleeping bag hangs over and yeah, you'd feel it. Almost boiling. This takes a lot longer than butane, I have to say. First time using it. It's not bad though. But it does take a lot longer, therefore uses a lot more fuel. And it can be a bugger to light. If you're going to bring it into high altitude or really, really cold temperatures, I recommend having some paper or cardboard or something that you can dip in there like that, then put it in. Otherwise it just doesn't light. It's almost like you need priming. in here it's just about to boil it's just simmering so yeah i think i'm in for a windy noisy night although the outside of the tent is starting to freeze up and bruce has gone for a wonder the snow is getting really frozen so it should be really easy to walk out tomorrow it should be a nice crisp surface isn't that right bruce They can't see you on the camera. Yep. Almost in view. There you go. Hey. Oh, don't pull my tent down, please. Thank you. Go around. There you go. I think that's hot enough. I put this in my jacket. It's in. sit for 10 minutes and sit in here.
mean, there's not much fuel left in there. I'll tell you what, this thing gets through the fuel. I bought... Come on, it's just frozen. This was full. This is 325 mil. I've used it twice. And it's a third left. You know what? The amount of fuel this thing uses? Crap for boiling water. Don't use them for boiling water. No good at all. If that's all you're doing, you still can't beat a jet boil. And that's all I'm doing. I think the wind is, uh, the wind is tied down. Oh, that's bright. It's better. The wind has died down a lot, which is great. So I think next time I would bring down, not synthetic, not Prima Loft or whatever it is, I'd bring a down jacket, maybe my heavy duty orange one, which is a mountaineering one. I do prefer layers though, could bring a thin down jacket but with just a thicker outer jacket. This is very, very thin, but it is windproof and it does breathe. And this is on its last legs. Just enough. As soon as that goes out, pour that water straight in. That will do well in the sleeping bag. In my quilt. So what I've got with me is a minus 12 degree enlightened equipment down quilt. I've got a Tyvek that's gone out. There you go. I've got a Tyvek sleeping bag cover. It's gone on top of it as well. So Tyvek it's waterproof windproof they're pretty indestructible what's that hot water make sure the lid's on Sleeping bag. Dinner's ready. It's my alarm. Bruce, come here. That's triggered Bruce. Come on. Good 
不畏。this dinner down. So good. Honey soy chicken by Backcountry Cuisine. Double serving. Because I'm freezing. And you want to warm up? Then eat food. Right, you know what? I could do a night time lapse. I've got a few stars. Let's see how it goes. I'll give it a try. Let's see if it's successful. Ah, that was pants. It's clouded over. And there's no other stars. It's a shame. Next time, we'll do one. This light is so bright, it's unbelievable. I've had to turn it right down to its lowest setting. So, I'm going to show you inside my tarp shortly. Let me just finish this. I'll come back to you. So, this is the tent, the tarp. Bruce is on his bed. Aren't you, Brucey? Little gear in there. Bruce is lying on the front here. That's the way he wants it. Because he's going to keep walking out in the middle of the night because he's a nightmare and he likes to go and play. He loves the snow. He will come back in here when he's ready and then he'll lie on his mat and curl up next to me. It's me in the background with the Tyvek. Plenty of room, just not a lot of headroom. And then I've got my backpack at the back behind there. So, everything ready. So I think I'm gonna kick back Enjoy watching a movie, maybe? What do you think, Bruce? Watch a movie? Yeah. Have a chat with Bruce and then get an early night because I figure I'm going to get out of here early. The tent is already freezing up. As you can see on the walls, it might be glistening a bit. It's freezing in the corner there where I'm going to be sleeping. Isn't that right, Bruce? So, cold night. For both of us? I don't know. He won't feel it, but I will. All right. See you in the morning. Bruce is getting snow on him, although he did just run outside in it. I'm gonna have to rethink where Bruce sleeps. Can't have him coming. 
snow, covered in snow. So I'm gonna have to move Bruce to up here. Behind, behind me, because there's no snow coming in this way. It's all going in over there. But yeah, forecast. Didn't say anything about this. And it is blowing straight in, so the wind has changed direction. Anyway, I've got a deal. Hopefully in the morning. Still here. Wish me luck. So, situation. It's howling. And sorry. It's coming in sideways. Asleep. He's alright. So the screen on the GoPro stopped working. That's how cold it is. But otherwise, everything else seems okay. Tarp's holding up. All the cords are still in. But yeah. It's not fun. I'm not going to get any sleep at this rate check back with you either in the morning after some sleep or if anything else goes wrong if anything goes wrong okay well situation it dumped with snow last night it's quite deep out there I spent the whole night bashing snow off the top. It's cold. Barely slept. Bruce had a good sleep. The wind at one point was ridiculous. But the top held. Hang on, Brucey. Look at you. The first thing he wanted to do go out and play. Hey, it's mad. Right, plan today, this morning, have some breakfast. See if this dies down a bit, the snow, or else I'm packing up in it. I don't want to be here this morning. It's not meant to be this heavy. Ugh, I woke up with the tarp pushing right down on my face with the amount of snow. But it held, it's amazing. It held in the storm and everything. So it just goes to show, I don't know if my MSR tent would have held, but this did. It was coming in quite badly at one point. So I pulled the skirt up a bit and that did the job. It stopped it blowing in, but now I've Got a lot of snow everywhere. It's deep. I haven't got a shovel with me. So my hole to get out of the tent is even smaller. Right, I'm gonna get on, cook up some uh, some breakfast, some oats, boil up some water, come back to you after that. What are you doing out there? So the hole in my tent got a lot smaller to get out of with all the snow. Can't really see it from here, but that's a limited height to get out. It's my tripod on low and it's lower than that. The GoPro is failing completely. Doesn't like the cold. The Tyvek uh, sleeping bag cover is soaking on the inside. So my sleeping bag is soaking wet. It's Pertex treated, so I didn't feel it, but the shell is soaking wet. This Tyvek just didn't breathe, not enough. Not for freezing cold conditions. I don't think anything does. So that was a fail. Tyvek failure. This Tyvek sheet from AliExpress 
But this is my sleeping bag. It's so wet. You can see the moisture there. And the inside of this bag is wet. So, fail. <sighs> Christ. And I'm filming this on my iPhone now because the GoPro is packed up. It just freezes, excuse the pun, hangs. Now, there's a lull in the snow. I'm still dreading going out there because there's a horrible wind. I don't know why he's gone out there. He's an absolute nut job. Just doesn't feel the cold at all. But he loves going, oh, he's off. It's a whiteout. Quite a lot of snow. All right, let's get to it. Breakfast. All right, we're back. New battery. I've warmed the GoPro up in my pocket and warmed the battery up. That seems to have done the trick. It's pretty poor that the iPhone works. The GoPro doesn't. Anyway, whatever. Right. I've got my oats. And it's too hot to eat right now. Oats with some cappuccino mixed in. Cook them on the burner here. With uh, my methylated spirits. Definitely took a while to catch. That's a good job. I had a piece of paper that I could set light to to uh, get it going. That really warmed the tent up. Having that cranking. It's quite toasty. That's why I've taken my beanie off. And everything on the outside, the snow, is melted. And it's not really damp in here either. Um, that's a real bummer about my sleeping bag and this Tyvek ground sheet thing. What a waste of money. I've seen people use it and say there's no condensation, but I don't believe it. I mean, it's sopping. So it doesn't breathe. Or if it does breathe, it doesn't breathe in these conditions. It needs to be much warmer. So it's no use in winter at all. You're better off with just a normal winter sleeping bag or quilt and a four season tent and then not need the bivy bag cover. Don't even bother risking it. It just doesn't work. There's nowhere for that condensation to go that's in there. It's too cold and it just doesn't it doesn't come out. It sucks. All right, I'm going to have my breakfast and then uh, pack everything up. It stopped snowing. So just windy now, freezing cold out there. But I am toasty in here. I'll come back to you uh, when I've started packing up. Right, tarp's done. All that's left now is to put Bruce in his backpack, put this away, and we're good to go. Whew. I have to say, that was miserable. Cold and miserable. Not fun in the slightest, except for last night at dinner. The rest of it, crap. Did not sleep at all. Oh well. Lesson learnt. Take a tent. Still positives. Backpack worked. It was awesome. Sorry about the wind. It's freezing, windy. Haven't got the microphone on. If you want to know where I've got the pack and everything else, just let me know. I'll put a link to it all 
But look, it does work. And it is, because it's so light, you can take a little bit more gear. That's how light it is, very light. Hey Bruce, no, come on. Bruce is about to pull in the baton. Yeah, it's frameless. So you do have to use a foot pad, uh, uh, a sleep mat like this, but it works. Ah, it's pegs. Ah, idiot. Mesh. All right, Bruce, come on. Come here, round here. Good boy. Hey, you're going home. I know you don't actually want to go home, do you? Hey, you don't want to go home. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Calm down. Wait, wait Bruce, I've got to do this. As much as I enjoy your kisses, this dog is a nut job, honestly. He goes out, he's been, I got, God knows what time he's been running around since. And he just doesn't feel it at all. It's incredible. Again, I've got the doggy backpack off of AliExpress. Bruce loves it. He knows it means it's camping time, don't you? Hey, God, oh, got me, got me, you got me. Hey, are we going home? Is it time to go home? Do you want to go home or do you want to stay? He wants to stay. He loves it here. All right. Drink the last of my water. I might just top up a little bit because I'll probably cramp up going down. I haven't had much water at all. Anyway, let me give you a, a vista. You doing, Brucey? Ready to go home? All right, here's the situation. The GoPro 7 Hero Black. Not a hero, pile of crap. Whatever, doesn't work in the snow. Doesn't work in the cold. What's the point? It's not an adventure camera if it doesn't work in the cold. Right, I've made it out into the, the bush. That was a brutal climb out. It started dumping with snow again. I got two hours back to the car. Look at this winter wonderland. Sorry, I haven't got a tripod for my phone. Look at this, it's just beautiful, beautiful. And the snow really is coming down. Um, yeah, it's meant to be just a, an hour out, uh, two hours down, but this might be a bit slow going because it's quite icy, a lot more snow. And yesterday it was quite tough coming back in this as well. Um, whew, yeah, that was a rough trip. A lot of rain, a lot of storms last night. Sorry about this. Yeah, stormy. The winds were outrageous. Carried on most of the night. And then the snow started just dumping down. And I had to keep knocking the snow off the tent. I'm knackered. This is hard work. Look at this. Wonderland. Should have ditched the tripod. Hey, Bruce. I know where Bruce has gone.
Bruce. I don't know if you can make out snow. So peaceful. So peaceful. Oh, he's behind me. Hey, buddy. Come on. Let's go. He can walk on top of it. He's so light. Me? I sink. Oh, it's hard work. This is deep, but luckily it's iced up a bit. Whoa, not enough. See my footprints from yesterday. I'd say there's another 15 centimeters of snow on top of what was already here yesterday. There was a foot here, over a foot, foot and a half here yesterday. Another 15 centimeters. So, this could be hard work getting out. Oh, and it's icy. You can hear that. So I've got to be really careful. Um, yeah. All right, so I think what I'll do is, because there's nothing much else to say, and I haven't got a tripod for this, so I can't do any of those fancy walking shots. I will report back once I get to the car unless something spectacular happens or I see something spectacular. I'll report back when I get back to the car and I'll just give you a rundown of what I learned gear-wise and trip planning-wise. So, yeah, see you at the car. It's about 20 minutes later. The snow's getting heavier. These snowflakes are enormous. Let me see if I can capture it in slow motion for you. See what I mean? They're big. It's dumping down. This wasn't forecast at all. Not this much. It's making for treacherous conditions. Sorry, I can barely speak. Going down, but Bruce is having a great time, as usual. He enjoys this way more than I do, I think. I'm still on the iPhone. I've given up on the GoPro completely. It's a shame. I really thought, with all the features it's got, it would be the perfect vlogging mountain camera. But it's not too sensitive to the cold and it freezes. I mean, literally, excuse the pun, it hangs. I don't know how many times I had to pull the battery out because you couldn't shut it down. They could uh, learn a thing or two from Apple. I don't know if it's just crap engineering, whatever. I'm bitching a bit, aren't I? But you know, when you spend 700 bucks on a product like that, you expect it to perform better than anything out on the market. And if it can't be taken anywhere sub-zero, which is barely this, this is just zero, that's it. If it can't handle these conditions, then it's not an action camera. It's not an adventure camera. It's a pretend one. So the hunt continues for the right outdoor-ready vlogging camera that's lightweight. Uh, and that has features like time lapse and everything else. Any recommendations, any suggestions? Happy to hear them. But it must be lightweight. That's the key. Lightweight. All right, onwards. Almost back at the car. Just come out onto the riverbed. It's hard work. It's raining down here. Still probably chucking down with snow up there. Can't see anything really, except in the fog. Um, it's a pretty easy climb down, it's just very wet. This jacket's great. This Katmandu, I don't know what it is, NGX2 rain jacket. Got it on a special deal. It's reduced from, I think it was 450, 450 New Zealand dollars to. 150 
it's a huge reduction and it's really good keep me really warm it's breathing well it's good fabric bruce what are you up to i actually gotta get off this riverbed climb up this hill and see you back at the car Okay, on the road again, on the road again. Just coming back to the car. What a trip. Backpack did well. I don't know if there's still snow on it. It was covered. Look at this. You see Bruce. Hey Bruce. <whistles> On the road, he knows his way to the car. Look at the hills. Isn't this just the most beautiful place? So lucky to live here. Now you can just see the snow. I don't know if you can make that out up there, but there's snow hmm, halfway up the bush line. So it's still snowing up there so deep that might be that might be the last um, winter trip I do because it's feeling very spring like down here now we'll see you never know with the tops it can snow right through till summer um, but it would be nice it would be nice to do a spring trip kind of done with the snow now and having to take all the extra gear because of it I'd like to do a lightweight bunch of lightweight fly trips up the tops and start hunting again that's what comes with spring and summer is hunting can't take Bruce for that unfortunately he's gun shy and plus it just it's not safe it's not the right thing to do okay so back to the car I'm gonna change out of all this gear to my civvies I'll come back to you from in there well finally got the uh, GoPro working I didn't take long the entire trip down obviously uh, peaked out a bit there what a trip what are my takeaways um, Bruce had a great time, didn't you, Brucey? Bruce, where are you? There he is. Bruce had a great time. Um, gear that worked, backpack worked, the AliExpress pack. My Katmandu jacket, very good. Bit of moisture in there, but that's to be expected. It was a long walk. And my uh, Katmandu uh, Ascent thermal top really worked well. Boots, my Humvag Alaska GTS boots. Very good. Almost half the price of lowers, but exactly the same product. Um, what else worked? My my puffer jacket, that was really warm. That was just a cheapo, again, AliExpress. Artificial, you know, synthetic loft down jacket. Um, yeah, I can't believe the backpack, just how comfy it was. My shoulders, no pain whatsoever. Every pack I've got gives me shoulder pain. This, nothing. I'll put a link to it. Hands down. Best pack. Now, it can't take, obviously, massively heavy load, like a hunting load. Um, it's not designed for that. It's designed for your basic backpacking. But, for that, it's great. Now, to the uh, negatives. Oh, sorry, one more positive. My Thermarest Neo Air X Therm sleeping pad. <laughs> that thing never ceases to amaze me. It's so warm. I was on the snow and I didn't have a second pad underneath. That pad was for Bruce to lie on. So I wasn't on top of that and I didn't feel a thing through it. I didn't even have it pumped up all the way. 80% so warm that is a top top class product 
brilliant product. Can't recommend it enough, honestly. Beautiful. I don't know how it would be in summer, probably too hot, but in winter, phenomenal. Let me turn the engine off so you don't have to listen to that. Right, to the bad stuff. The tarp. That 3F, that 3F UL 4x3 tarp. It's in itself, the product, the quality of the material is very good. It's very lightweight, but the attachments are crap. Why stick grommets? They've put grommets into the tabs. So you can't put a decent stake in. Oh, what they were thinking. And it's sort of every other one. It's not lined up the same as say a DD hammock is, DD hammock tarp. So you'd be lucky if you get the tabs in the right place. So no, it's, it's not good. It's not a good tarp. Um, my Flames Creed one uh, is better because the tabs are in better place. But even that is not as great as the DD hammock. You know what? AliExpress or 3FL or whoever it is, if you're going to copy designs, copy DD hammocks, okay, and copy every single thing about it. Don't do that otherwise. Don't bother because it's just crap and it doesn't work. And if you can't stick the pegs in, then what's the point? So no, that tarp, I consider that a fail uh, just because you can't get the, the proper pegs in um, I had to jerry rig. Oh, I had to mess with it, and it was a real pain in the ass. And you have to use mini spikes to get in there. So no, no use. The um, enlightened equipment quilt. You know, it says it's good down to minus twelve, and it is very warm. Uh, but uh, those straps just don't seem to work properly. I don't know what it is. It's such a struggle, and if you toss and turn a lot, it does come away from you, um, and it does open up a gap, and I've got a wide on that and long, so I don't know. It's very comfy once you get it right, but if you turn over, it, the chances are you're gonna be exposed somewhere. So be aware of that. If you're in an enclosed four season bag, a uh, uh, tent, then fine, or if you're in a hut, then fine. No draft can get to you. But if you're in anything that was drafty, then don't bother with the quilt. Stick to a sleeping bag. Tyvek sleeping bag, bivy bag. What a load of crap. I've seen now quite a few reviews where they've said this thing is a great product. No, no condensation, nothing. I don't know what they were doing differently to me, but it was soaked. Um, so they're probably using it in fair weather conditions, but, um, no, crap. I won't use that again. Utter pants. Um, I'd rather just use my military one and uh, know that I'm going to get condensation. So yeah, that was a fail. Uh, I'm quite disappointed with that from what everybody said. They're great. So unless I miss something, unless you've got to wash it or do something with it first, I don't know. But what a waste of time. Next thing, alcohol burner. Why bother? I see these people going up there with alcohol burners to to boil water, and that's all I was doing with it. I wanted to see how it went. Jesus, you've got to get through so much fuel to do it, and it doesn't light straight away. It is a pain in the ass. It is a mess. You've got to carry separate fuel that you know in a container, and you've got to pour it all out, and there's a risk of spillage. Again, I don't see the point. Unless you're cooking on a trangia, which is what that one is, so unless you're doing a transio cook where you're cooking up some steaks and stuff like that, and it, you know, it's going to be 20, 30 minutes of cooking each time. Uh, I don't see the 